guys, Amber here, lead natural science educator at the Cook Museum of Natural Science, and we're gonna go meet with Kelly McInnes, one of our animal care associates again, and talk about something really cool. But I'm running late. Hey, there she is now. Come on. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Amber. It's so good to see you again. How you are too. you? Good, how are you? I'm doing really well. Can you tell us what we're gonna be talking about today? We are gonna be talking about our crabs on exhibit today. Yeah. Yes. Crabs are super cool. Can you tell us a little bit about crabs in general? Yeah. On a basic level, a crab is an animal that has a broad carapace or shell. They'll have five sets of legs. One of those will be pinchers and they also have stalked eyes. Awesome. There is over 4,000 species of crab in the world and over wow. 60 of those live here in the state of Alabama. And you can imagine if there's over 4,000 species of crabs that they come in a variety <laughs> of shapes and colors and sizes. Yeah. The biggest crab is actually the Japanese spider crab and it can be 12 feet across and weigh 40 pounds. What? 12 feet across? Yes. That's, that's a huge crab. Very big. So what is the smallest crab? Smallest crab is actually a pea crab and it grows to be about two centimeters across and it will usually live in the shell of a bivalve. Oh, okay, really neat. So it lives in the shell of a bivalve. So where do uh, other species of crabs live? So crabs can live in a lot of different biomes. They can be um, terrestrial, so they'll live on land, or they can live in freshwater or saltwater. And awesome. being in all these wide variety of areas, you can imagine that they have a lot of different things to choose from to eat. Do so you remember yeah. those pinchers we mentioned earlier? Yeah. So they will actually use those to pick up things off the ground, off the ocean floor, or pick algae off of rocks. Whoa, cool. So uh, what, are some are, what are some of the other ways that crabs consume their prey? There's actually another really cool crab called a porcelain crab, and it has a feather-like appendage that it will use to catch microorganisms out of the water as they float by. What? Mm -hmm. That's really, really neat. So we have all these really neat crab species from around the world. What crab species do we have here at the Cook Museum? We actually have four different crab species here, and nice. they all live here in our coral tank. Oh, cool. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about the species that are in here? So the first one, which is my personal favorite, is called a Halloween hermit crab. It has this really cool. pretty bright orange color. Um, and wow. they have this really big shell on their back. That's kind of a way that you can tell um, who they are in our tank. And something nice. cool about their shell is their body is actually a slimmer body and they're able to fit in these really slim shells that other hermit crabs with larger bodies wouldn't be able to fit into. Oh man, mm -hmm. so I, that might even be hard to find in here too sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's cool. All of our crabs are pretty good at hiding. That's <laughs> awesome. So is there, so there's three other species, right? Yes, we have another hermit crab. It is called a blue leg hermit crab and he is great at climbing. They can climb on almost <laughs> anything and um, also very good at hiding in the rocks. So the blue legged hermit crab, is it called the blue legged hermit crab because it has blue legs? It is. Man, scientists can be real creative sometimes. Okay, what um, else? So those are our only two hermit crabs. We have two other species of crabs. One is an emerald crab. It's a really pretty green color, but it blends in really, really well with some of our algae in here. Um, so they're kind of hard to see, So, but keep an eye out for them. <laughs> okay. And our last one is a Sally Lightfoot crab. Uh, this crab is really cool. Some people call them a tank janitor because they're really good <laughs> at picking food up off the ground. They'll keep our tank clean. They'll eat algae. Yeah. Um, so we really enjoy having that crab do some work for us. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure that's probably a good bit of work off you guys too. Yes. So we have these four different crab species and also lots of coral in here. Do the crabs hurt the coral or do the coral hurt the crabs? They actually have a, what's called a mutualistic relationship, which means wow. that both animals benefit from each other. The crab is going to use the coral as a home and it's going to use it as a place to find food. Um, but on the other side, the crab will actually protect the coral from predators and actually wow. help keep it clean. So they work together really nicely. Yeah. On the flip side though, if our crabs aren't getting a good source of food or they become hungry, right. um, our crabs can become destructive to our coral and use them as a food source to survive. So we put wow. a lot of work into this tank to make sure everyone's happy and healthy and it's a very natural environment for them to live in. Yeah, that's awesome. And you guys do an amazing job taking care of the coral and the crabs. Thank you so much for teaching us all about crabs today. You're welcome. That was super awesome. All right, you guys, well, we're gonna let Kelly get back to work and we're gonna head off. Okay, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 
That was really cool. So we got to hang out with Kelly McInnes, one of our animal care associates, learning all about different crabs that we have here at the museum. We have four species of crabs that are so well taken care of. The staff here, the animal care staff, make sure that they are getting all the things that they need. Around the world, there are 4,000 different species of crab. And here in Alabama, we have 60 of those species, which is so cool. And crabs can consume their prey in different ways. And it's also really difficult to take care of crabs and coral in the same tank. So again, thank you so much to our animal care staff for doing such a wonderful job making sure our animals are happy and healthy. All right, you guys, we'll, we'll see you soon for the next question and answer with animal care. See you later, bye.